I don't train because I want to get bigger. I train every day because it is difficult to train every day. It hurts. I don't want to. I wake up and I'm busy. I have other things to do. I don't feel like doing it. So I force myself to do it seven days a week, 365 days a year so that I know I'm the kind of person who can do what he doesn't want to do when it needs to be done. I am that man. And it's more of a mental exercise than a physical exercise at this point. How can you ever outcompete me if I can force myself to do the things I don't want to do and you cannot? Discipline is absolutely essential for success. Suck it up and you find a way to persevere and work your way around it because guess what? You ain't the only person in the world that's going through stuff. The world is filled with people who've got excuses mm. about why they're being held back. And by the way, those things will be valid, but nobody is going to help come and help you just because you're crying about how you're being treated unfairly. You have to show that you have the intestinal resolve to overcome. Discipline your body, body, free your mind. Get up early and go. Get after it and you'll become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. You need to eat good, you need to take care of yourself, and you need to stay out of no free time. Because free time is where drug dealers live. Free time is where depression uh, and the devil live. Okay, like I don't have free time. If this place was burning down right now, you ain't gonna be thinking, oh, I'm depressed, I can't leave. If this room gets hot enough, you will fucking roll your ass out of here as fast as you can. So urgency, man, you wanna have urgency in your schedule. The only time I've ever gotten in trouble in my life, right before I got in trouble, I was bored. Every fucking single time I got in trouble in my life, every time, I got bored and then I compromised the people I was around. When you're bored, you compromise. You bring the wrong chick home, you get an STD. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, you know, hey man, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Not that chlamydia, it came on with you, okay? So why, because you got bored, okay? You should have been home, dude. You should have been sleeping, preparing for the next morning, getting up early, go get your workout in, get your hustle on, go to breakfast with somebody, get, get, get in a, a, a group, a mastermind with some people that won't put up with that bullshit. Because people that are hitting, playing on all the cylinders, like they're running and gunning, they don't have time for bullshit. They don't want the trouble and they're not bored. If I'm getting anxiety or I'm feeling depressed, it's because I'm fucking up on my, on my shit for sure. Yeah. Or I'm doing stuff that I shouldn't be doing. Suffering, sacrifice connects to everything else, that it is an equation to success. You accept it as a necessary ingredient to get to the top. Why? Because most people are not willing to do it. Most people are not willing to put in the extra mile. Most people are not willing to put in the extra necessary labor. They're not willing to invest in themselves. They're not willing to go through the sacrifice or the potential loss. But when it's all said and done, you and I are gonna end up in the same place. We're gonna end up in the grave. So how risky is life? It's super risky. We're gonna die, right? That's the end game. So what is there truly to lose? Nothing. You just realize that it's part of the equation and when you understand that everything connects to everything else, you begin to develop a complete mind. And a complete mind is a mind that lives in a state of sobriety. The state of sobriety gives you the opportunity to realize that you cannot be single focused. You cannot just be focused on winning. You cannot just be focused on making money. You need to develop a complete mind. Once people understand you're gonna fail and you're gonna fail a lot, yeah. and if you can't deal with that failure, yeah. If you think that failing makes you a failure, if you think that it's a permanent state of being and you're never gonna get better, then you won't do the things you need to do to ultimately be successful. You talk about consistency, yeah. but it isn't just consistency, because if you do it wrong yeah. consistently, you're still yeah. going to fail, right? So yeah. this is, you have to be, in my own language, willing to stare nakedly at your inadequacies. Yeah. And if you can stare nakedly at your inadequacies, then you can actually get better. On your path to greatness, there are gonna be long periods of time where you hate what you are doing, where you are dissatisfied with the actions you must undertake, where you are tired, where you are stressed. That is why it is difficult. That is why most people won't make it. 
If the path was easy, everybody would walk it and it would lead nowhere. A hundred people start the path, 99 fall off because it is difficult and the one person who makes it to the end gets the gold. If all a hundred made it to the end and the gold was divided by a hundred, it wouldn't even be worth anything. The difficulty gives it value. The fact that it is difficult to do is the key component into the fact you want it in the first place. If it wasn't difficult, everyone would have it and you wouldn't want it because no one would respect it. It's supposed to be hard. Life is supposed to be hard. You're supposed to think this is terrible. You're supposed to suffer and smile through the pain regardless. Discipline is the key to success in all realms as a man. And if you lack it, you stand no chance. In order to become everything you want, you could be, you have to face the worst that there is to face. While they're partying, you're working. While they're sleeping, you're working. While they're at the cinema eating junk food, you're at home healthy, eating organic food, developing your mindset. Why? Not because you're a freak, but because you realize that in order to get to the next level, you must be willing to sacrifice the necessities and the requirements to get to the next level. It's not by chance. A person does not arrive to the top of the mountain because he was just simply dropped there. So this idea of luck to me does not exist. To me, this idea of luck is merely probabilities. So if you want to become lucky, you need to increase your probabilities of success by sacrificing what is necessary, inputting the necessary seeds, and I think you'll reap the reward. Right now, you're probably not doing something because you're like, I'm too busy. I'll start when it's convenient, whatever. If you say that as the excuse for not doing something, then there's an assumption underlying that that says that if I get busy again in the future, I will stop. And so, do you want the success that you want to be long-term? Yes. Then do you believe that you'll never be busy again for the rest of your life? No. So then you might as well start when you're busy so that you have the most support. Because if you learn how to do it when you're busy, when, you get, when it gets quiet, you'll succeed even more. And when it gets busy again, you know how to do it because that's how you started. If you blame other people and you blame other things, you're not gonna take any action. So get control of yourself. Get control of yourself come up with a plan and take action daily that's what we're doing and that's the discipline